Hello my dear student, element, compound and mixture. This chapter we already started. Part 1 that we already completed. Now part 2 I am going to discuss the mixture. Right student? So first we understand the mixture. What is mixture? A mixture is a form of matter in which two or more pure substances like element or compound are physically mixed in any proportion. These different pure substances are called components of the mixture. Some example of mixture are given below. Number one, air is the mixture of various gas like oxygen, nitrogen, argon, carbon dioxide and water vapor. Gunpowder is a mixture of potassium nitrate, sulfur and charcoal. Number two, alloy is a homogeneous mixture of two or more metals and some non-metals are there. Number three, all our body fluids such as blood is a mixture of various corpuscle and serum are present in the blood. Number four, ink is a mixture of various chemical along with some preservative like so, number 5, the example of mixture are hair spray, lemonade, frog, cheese, petrol, wood, soil, soft drink, butter, milk, water, lime water, paint, glass, soap, coal and soda water. Right? I hope student you understand the definition of mixture and their example right dear student here i am going to discuss the characteristic of the mixture first of all number one mixture have variable components that is they have different ratio of components right for example we can add sugar in milk or in tea as per our need a mason mix the amount of cement and sand as per his requirement right so mason prepare mixture of cement and sand in different ratio for different purpose like construction of wall and plastering work number two formation of mixture is a physical change so their components retain their original properties Number three properties or you can say the characteristics of element are mixture may be heterogeneous or homogeneous in nature. That means the nature of mixture is decided by the size of the particles and the extent of intermixing. If the size of the particle of one constituent is larger than the other and they are intermixed non-uniformly then the mixture will be heterogeneous but if the size of particle and such that the particles of the constituent are intermixed uniformly they then the mixture is homogeneous in nature for example copper sulfate crystal dissolved in water to form a homogeneous mixture right Number four, component of a mixture can be separated by physical method such as filtration, decantation, distillation, etc. The components of the mill can be separated by the centrifugation method. Right. Now, student, I am giving you the another point, number five point. Here it is, preparation of mixture involves very little or no heat change for example if we dissolve one spoon full of glucose in one glass of water then only few calories of energy is required right now another point like six point is there the mixture do not have fixed melting and boiling point as the component are present in variable proportion right 
Now number 7 point is here. Mixture shows properties of all its constituent. For example, here is a mixture in which each component retain its property. Right? Do you know student that alloy is a homogeneous mixture of two or more metals and some non-metal hence it has different physical properties that than its components right now dear student here we are going to understand the type of mixture mixture are of two types number one homogeneous mixture number two heterogeneous mixture majority of mixture are heterogeneous in nature the homogeneous and heterogeneous nature of a mixture is decided by the particle size of the solute now student here we are going to understand the homogeneous mixture in the homogeneous mixture we cannot differentiate between the two components as they are completely mixed with one another homogeneous mixture has uniform uniform composition throughout its mass for example in the aqueous solution of sugar we cannot differentiate between the sugar and water particles all parts of the sugar solution are equally sweet because they have same sugar water composition no visible boundary of the separation is present in homogeneous mixture the particles of solute are easily accommodated in the interparticle phase of the solvent a homogeneous mixture of two substance is called solution a few example of homogeneous mixture are soft drink dilute sugar solution alcohol and water mixture saline petrol kerosene natural gas alloy air vinegar copper sulfate solution iodine solution and the filtered tree correct these are the example of homogeneous mixture now we define the homogeneous mixture a mixture in which substance are uniformly mixed with one another in such a way that there is no visible boundary of separation that is a homogeneous mixture correct student i hope you understand homogeneous mixture and their example dear student here we understand the heterogeneous mixture in heterogeneous mixture we can easily distinguish between the components like in sand and water mixture the two components can be easily distinguished various constituent of heterogeneous mixture are separated by visible boundaries the heterogeneous mixture does not have a uniform composition throughout the bulk in some places the solute may be in high percentage and in the other places it may be have low percentage example of the heterogeneous mixture are soap in kerosene mixture of chalk in water card coal lime in water slate in water petrol in water floor in water milk of magnesia right so heterogeneous mixture may be defined as a mixture in which substances are not uniformly mixed with one another and have a boundary of separation right so this is the heterogeneous mixture i hope student you entirely understand that we discuss in this part okay student i hope you enjoy this class thank you for watching the mixture it is the part of element compound and mixture